Good morning, everybody. This is uh, the Z32 Workshop. Uh, I'm your host, Z James. Uh, we're continuing to work on the parts car Z, tearing apart the interior. I am going to take a few minutes this morning, though, to uh, clean the interior a little bit. Uh, run a vacuum. It's pretty filthy. Uh, I should have done it beforehand. I have it, but I'll do it this time around. Um, just to get the carpets a little bit cleaner and pull them out. Um, I think this time around we're going to work on the door sills area on both sides of the car. Pull them out. Pull the uh, kick panels on either side for the passenger and driver's side. And see what we can start doing around the top of the dash. Uh, once again, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing on taking it apart on the sequence, but that's the stuff I'm going to take apart today on that. So let's get to it. Um, oh, recap from last time. We just tore apart more of the last interior. That makes me fun for you guys. Uh, sorry about the crickets. It's that time of year. A uh, little bat. Guys, I can't get rid of. So um, hopefully they're not too annoying for you guys. Uh, I'm sorry about that. But uh, like I said, if you're new to the channel beforehand, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, everything a little bit helps. If anyone's even enjoying this, it'd be great. Uh, but like I said, we're gonna start doing the interior, uh, tearing apart more of the uh, stuff that's there. So um, let me get you to look around and we'll take a look at it from where we were at. All right, this is where the interior is at last from last time, guys. Just a quick recap. Panel for the vents gone, kick pad, knee pad, gauge cluster, radio center stack, center column, all the way back to there. Started working on that side. Today we're going to do these, these, these going to come out first. Door sills, this, I'll give this more access on both sides. And then I'm going to see if I can get rid of the glove box too. Uh, then I'll start looking at the vents, which are screws. I know there are screws on top of there on either side. So let me get you set up. I'm going to clean and then I'm probably going to take the seat out, which is actually going to be a little more cumbersome for this side. This is an electric seat, um, which the two front bolts here and here are fairly easy to get to. The problem gets to be is the two there and there I can either get a wrench on or not because I don't have power in the car anymore and that's an electric seat and it didn't get moved forward to remove so that's some of the issues there all right let me put you on pause here and we'll get everything going all right everybody um, to remove the front seats here you use this take out this bolt will be on the opposite side here it's a 14 millimeter is all I'm using. This one appears to be pretty tight, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. There's one, like I said, there's one on either side of the car or either side of the seat. Holds the front of the seat rails. We'll remove it here. This first one out. Get you guys over to the second one. Hopefully you guys can see that without that mess of wires. Let's see if I get you guys situated. Up oh, right there. There's the other one. Sorry about that, guys. Had to get a little bit bigger wrench. That one was uh, tightened down quite a bit. Instead of using my 3 8 I had to use a half inch. With an adapter, just so I can get it down in there and get the torque on it that I needed. Um, another side note piece that you will need to know about to get this removed is there, like I said, there is these two 
two bolts up front, two nuts in the rear. But also, you'll have, let's see if I can show it to you halfway decently, is, hang on, give me a second guys, sorry about this, is there are a couple of connectors on here. Uh, you see them right there? That's for the power of the seat and the seat belt sensor. Then let know it's clicked. We'll have to remove them too, but that's going to be easier to do when the back uh, nuts are taken care of. All right. All right, everyone, ladies. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Once again, everybody, um, to do these back ones, I had to use a 14 millimeter. Well, this one I had an extension to my uh, breaker bar here. Um, it is super difficult, or at least it was. But it can be done as long as the seat's not 100% back. And that first break, and I know I didn't show it to you, was very, you had to lose, use a lot of muscle. That's the one thing I'd have to say. You had to use a lot of muscle. And now that I've got it loose, I should be able to, see, 14 millimeter, breaker bar, extension, adapter, to breaker bar. I got this one now. Now the next one's gonna be farther back and it's on the back side over there. So I'm gonna have to do the exact same thing. So let me see if I can get you guys set up for that. All right, everybody, let's try this again. I got my glass bolt here, or nut, I should say. 14 millimeter, swivel head, extension, breaker bar. Try to get it as upright as possible because that's where your most torque comes into play. And there you go. Now I've heard the big snap on it. But that was it breaking itself or coming loose in the squeaks. Now I get loose. Go to my Ratchet. Should come right on out. As the nuts stayed in. Alright everybody, that should be loose. As it is. I'll show everyone again. Seat is now loose. So we should be able to get to those connectors right there. Whoop. Sorry about moving everyone around so fast there, but I will take the seat out now and I'll show them to you. All right, everybody, as you can see, um, on each one of these, there is a washer and a nut. This one's still stuck in socket apparently it's out but there's the connector that's for power and uh, the seatbelt I'm gonna clean some of this up again just to get it cleaned up and then we'll do door cell which is one two three four five five screws on either side and the door cell will come right on out we'll do that on both sides all right, everybody, we're going to work on the door sill. We'll also start with this, have access to um, the kick panel on the driver's side. Uh, one screw. They should be five screws, nothing fancy with them. Um, side note, uh, there was an upgrade for these that were actually lit in metal. Uh, extraordinarily rare. They sell for... Anywhere from two to six hundred bucks, depending on how working condition. They had a uh, transformer in them to light up that said 300 ZX. Very cool, very expensive. Um, you don't see too many of them uh, for sale too often. You see them without some of the stuff, so you have to retrofit, which maybe in this world isn't too bad because you can do an LED swap on them. All right after all five are removed, comes right on out. And the reason you do this 
is because it gets you where it covers up this for this trim piece and this trim piece here and also for the carpet on the other side for this panel here oh sorry guys let me redo that for the panel here let's go do the other side now to get them both equally done Sorry about the small delay, folks. Just need to get around the car after turning the camera on. I'm not real good at the editing skills. Just like the other side, you need to take off these five uh, screws. Uh, just like I have been the entire time, I've been placing these uh, in a bag just so I know like what region they came from because they're not all that hard to discern which ones are which. These are nice black finish screws, so it's pretty easy. But once we get access to this, we'll have access to getting this kick panel out from your feet, which will be the next thing. Uh, this, these appear to be in pretty decent shape, although I'm do noticing a crack on this guy over here. Uh, oh, oh, this one worked. Uh, just so you know, these go into a plastic into the body, and they tend to break. They kind of fragile. They get broken up over time so it's not uncommon for those to break once again pops right off uh, and then we'll have access to this kick panel which I think we'll get the glove box out of the way first so that is that for this We're gonna work on the driver's side. Hopefully you guys can see everything. Um, this panel has a screw right here, which is already missing. There'll be one here, there's one here, and one here. If you guys are seeing it. All right, I'm gonna have to use a wrench, or a ratchet, so give me a second, folks. 10 millimeter ratchet. They're not that hard, just not enough to get a Screw on it. Real short guy. I don't think that's factory. There's one up here. I think there may be one more behind the carpet, too. I'll get my hand here. And there would have been. Um, let's see if I can get you guys to see this. There should have been one right there. It's not in, so once again, this is just telling me somebody's been in here to do things. So, let's see if I can get you out. Oh yeah, sort of out and away, and this carpet is being a pain. There we go. So that panel is out. As you can see, there's one there. There is one there, which wasn't there. All right, everybody. Once again, thanks for uh, tuning in. This will be the end of today's video. I know it's kind of short, but this seat turned into more of a pain in the butt to get without being the power to move it forward. But you can get them out without doing that. Just so if you find one on a salvage yard or anything like that, you can do it. Just get on the right tools and it's a little bit of a fight. Um, the other things we took off were the two door sills and then one of the kick panels, the driver's side, which was <laughs> sadly, once again for this car, short hardware, which is gonna induce rattles and anything. Um, they were there for a reason from the factory, unless it's a known issue where it's causing a problem, those aren't someone did that because they were being lazy and didn't put it back or they did rattle out and they just pitched them away uh hard to believe for the one with the carpet though because if that rattles out it's got nowhere to go uh, but so if you like what you're seeing i would say like and subscribe uh the more viewers will help me out on the channel eventually on and once again i apologize for the crickets i gotta do something about it in my garage that's just how it is right now uh, but the next time we do this project, we should be working on the other sidekick panel, uh, glove box removal, and then maybe the top of the dash.
Uh, I was hoping to get to them today, just didn't have time. Uh, so once again, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the comments. Bye.